There are around 60 plantations in this village alone, and about a thousand plantations in the entire district. The villagers ensure their plantations are neat and mats are easy to find. Here, men and women work hand in hand to produce copra. Whether it's gathering coconuts. Splitting them in half, it's all about teamwork. In come the skilled copra cutters, a dying skill, in fact, in many Pacific Island countries, as the copra industry meets its sad fate. But here in the Solomons, these villages are just warming up. For those like Joseph Thausuli, it's not just about the sustainable income, but about lifting the standard of living and making a difference in the lives of villagers. Here, when we want to take a copra to, to Honiara, uh, we have to pay $50 a bag of copra for a bag of copra. But that, that's, that doesn't stay there for, I mean, every time. It just depends on the price of the copra. If the price of the copra went up to four dollars, they can go up for sixty dollars per bag. So it really cost us here to, to take a copra down to Honiara. But when we go into this one, we will see that I mean it will cut down our cost and uh, and uh, we will 